So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to true the wheels on a bicycle, which has disc brakes. So a couple years ago, I made a video demonstrating how to true the wheels on a bicycle. And in that video, I showed how you could use the brake pads as a reference for showing where the high spots and low spots are on your rim for when you're truing them. However, a question that I frequently get asked is how do you do this procedure for a bike which has disc brakes? Because disc brakes have the brake pads which are in here going up against the disc and down here where the brake pads would normally be uh, up against the rim, there's nothing that you can use as a reference surface. Just like I explained in my other video, one option is you can take your wheel off the bike and you can get one of these truing stands which you can fix the wheel in there and it has this special thing down here which you can adjust these things and use those as your reference surface to see how true the wheel is in a given spot. However, the average person probably doesn't own a truing stand and it's not something that I would recommend buying unless you're frequently truing bike wheels. Rather than getting that truing stand, all you've really got to do is just find some kind of an item which you can attach to your frame here, which is going to stick out like that and be that reference surface for you. And the possibilities for that item are endless. You could build something out of wood that will clamp onto here somehow. Um, but an idea that I had for something that's really simple you could use is you could just use a regular household pencil, uh, preferably one with an eraser, and you can just put that on there like that and to hold it in place all you just need is just a you know a simple again household rubber band just put one end around here like that the other end around there like that and f at first it's probably not gonna you know stick in exactly the right spot but just by making you know small little adjustments to the elastic band and stuff you can get it pretty close to the spot where you want it and just adjust it she'll able to, she'll be able to find the high spots like you can see here. When you're doing this, however, just be aware that sometimes uh, wheels that have disc brakes on them will have stickers on this part of the rim. Um, so your reference surface might rub up against the sticker and think that's a high spot. But as long as you're aware of that, um, you should be able to find the real high spots, which will be much higher than the thickness of the sticker. I've done the same for my back wheel back here. Again, just on this little part of the frame, I was able to put a pencil in there using a regular rubber band. And this wheel actually is a little bit out of true. So you'll be able to see as I spin it that it does rub up against the pencil and it vibrates a little bit each time it hits it. So like I said, once you've got your reference surface in place here, the procedure for turning this wheel is exactly the same as the procedure that I showed in my other video, demonstrating how to do this on a bike that has rim brakes. So if you haven't already seen this video, I provided a link to it in the description of this video. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial showing how to true the wheels on a bicycle which has disc brakes. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.